Hi guys, welcome back to the vlog. Say hi. Hi. Okay, so I am a mother of a one-year-old baby boy na super kulit. And um, I... <laughs> Here on my channel, I share and post anything about motherhood and family life. So, <laughs> so if you like... Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> Okay, I failed sa attempt ko na isama sa vlog na to si Mati dahil sobra-sobrang kulit niya. Hindi ako makapag-film ng video na kayo. <laughs> anyway, so from the title of this video, I think meron ako yung idea kung ano ba ang topic ko for today. And I'm very excited about this kasi talagang highly requested nyo tong vlog na ito. And finally, I'm gonna do it na. Hi guys! Hi guys, welcome to Mattie's classroom. Say welcome. Welcome. <laughs> okay, are you ready? Say ready. Ready. Okay. First fruit is apple. Apple. Very uh, good. Uh, uh, apple. What color is this apple? Red. Red apple. Very good. And this one is what's this? Avocado. Avocado. Avocado is color. Green avocado. Very good. How about this one? Berry. Berry. Yes. What color is the strawberry? Red. Red strawberry. How about this? Your favorite? Orange. Orange. Good job. Orange. <laughs> Very good. And this one? Banana. What's that? Banana. Banana. How about this one? I don't know this. Plum, very good. Plum, can you say plum again? Plum. How about this one? Mama mango. Mama mango, very good. Mango, good job. How about this one? Oh no, I have more. How about this one? Mama mango. Watermelon, very good. How about this one? Lemon. Lemon, <laughs> very good. And this one. Kiwi. What's that? Kiwi. Hey, good job. Yay. How about we talk about the colors? Let's talk about the colors. Okay, this one is color? Red. Red, very good. This one is color? Pink. No, that's purple. Purple. Purple, yes. Nandito siya sa pink and purple. And this one is? Orange. Orange. Very good. This one? Green. Green. This one? Pink. Pink. What's this one? This one? Yellow. Yellow. This one? White. White. Good job. Green. This one? Look. Brown. Brown. Very good. This one? Gray. Gray. And this one? Blue. Blue. And this one is? Black. Black. Very good. Yay. Okay, next one. Ooh, how about we talk about vegetables? This one. Mommy. What? Mommy. Broccoli. This one. Mommy. Carrot. Very good. How about this one? Corn. Corn. Eggplant. Eggplant. Some kasi hindi ko tinuturo kasi sobrang complicated. This one, this one, baby. What's this? Uh, onion, onion. Onion. This one. Peas. This one. Pepper. Pepper. And what's this? Papaya. No, this is not papaya. This is pumpkin. Pumpkin. Good job. This one. Tomato. Tomato. turnip like hindi naman madalas nakikita eh so turnip so ayun yung mga basic lang na nasa kitchen naman yung mga tinuturo ko okay, how about we count what's this one one very good this one two two and shoes yes that's correct two what number is this three three very good and this one four good job Pencil. What number is this? 
five. Wow. A brown, yes. What number is this? Six. This one? Seven. This one? Eight. This one? Nine. and? Ten. Ten. Yay! Ten. <laughs> yes, very good. How about... These are your animals. Okay. What animal is this? What? Uh, uh. Ooh, ooh, ah, ah, a monkey. So, sa animals, it's either alam yung name or yung sound or yung actions na ginagawa ng animals then. So, what's this? Puppy. What? Puppy. Monkey. What's the sound of the monkey? Ooh, ah, ah. Ooh, ooh, ah, ah. Very good. How about this? <laughs> An uh. owl. <laughs> Very good. Uh. How about this? Um, ant. Um, um, wow, ant. How about this one? Pig. Pig. What's the sound of the pig? Pig. What's the sound of the pig? Pig. <laughs> oink, oink, oink. How about this? Pig. Roar. Roar. This is a? a lion. lion. How about this one? Look. <gasps> Bird. Bird. And this one? Radio. This one? Picture. This is G? Rock. How about this? Whoa, this is our favorite. Cow. And this one? Uh, 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 uh. This is a? Dog. Dog. This one? Hee ha, hee ha, a donkey. And this one? <gasps> Camel. Oh, how about this one? The next animal is? Bees. Bees. And this one is a? Cat. Cat. Meow. This one? Goat. Goat. What's the sound of the goat? Meow. <laughs> oh, oh my gosh. What? Yes. How about this one? Elephant. Elephant. Oh, careful. How about this one? Zebra. Zebra. <gasps> bunny. Bunny. A rabbit or a bunny. How about this one? Oh, no. This one is a? Mouse. Mouse. Skip, 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 skip. <laughs> oh, no. What is this, baby? Horse. Horse. Very good. Oh, no. Our favorite. Bear, bear, bear. Chick. Chick. Very good. Chick, chick, chick. This one. Froggy. Froggy. And this one? Quack, quack. Duck. 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 Quack, quack. Koala. Koala. Oh, no. What's this? A big bird. Eagle. Eagle. Yes. Wow. So big and strong. Eagle. Kangaroo. This one. <laughs> Thank you. Not yet done. Not yet. Not yet. Daddy. Not. Ah, daddy. Daddy is there. Oh, daddy. What's that? What animal is this? <laughs> Panda. And this one? Ooh. It's a dada. It's a dada. It's a bitsy spider. Yes. Ladybug <laughs> and okay. ostrich, <laughs> chup, chup, chup. crocodile, and this one. What's this? Hippies and ba 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 sheep. Yay! Okay, last, 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 last. Show them your emotions. Okay, Matty will show you all of the emotions. What emotion is this? Happy. Happy. Can you show them your happy face? Happy. Happy. Wait a minute. Yes. Oh, thank you. How about, how about this one? Happy love. Love. Oh, thank you. Love. Very good. This one. What's that? Surprise. What? Surprise. Surprise! It's a surprise. <laughs> Very good. How about... Yeah, so you're, what you're doing is this. What's this? Hmm, what's that? What? Angry. Look, look. Sad. Oh, no. And this one? This one? Yeah. What's that? Excited! Yay! 
First of all, thank you so much talaga sa mga DM, sa mga messages nyo sa akin telling me na ang galing ni Mati, na ang aga niya nagsalita, na advance siya, na ang galing ko magturo. Wow! Thank you so much talaga sa mga compliments na yan. Talaga nakakataba ng puso, lalo na sa akin ng first time mom. Every time na nakaka-receive ng mga messages from you guys. But guys, I don't really claim na advanced or genius si Mati because I believe na meron lang talaga mga babies na early talkers and siguro isa si Mati doon. There are babies naman na advanced naman when it comes to physical development. So iba-iba talaga yung mga milestones na nare-reach ng bawat bata. Natututo ang mga bata on their own pace. So wag tayong ma-stress din. Ayoko namang habang pinapanood nyo to, stress kayo na iisipin nyo, naku, bakit kaya yung anak ko ganito, si Mati ganito. Ayokong ganun. Please wag nyo i-compare yung anak nyo. Tarating rin naman yung time na talaga makakapagsalita rin yung mga anak natin, di ba? So, my point is, iba-iba talaga ang ating mga babies. So, we need to appreciate them on their milestones. May it be sa language nila, may it be sa physical nila. Be patient rin tayo mga mommies. <laughs> so, there. First of all, bakit nga ba natin dapat turuan ng maaga yung mga babies natin? Well, simple lang, di ba? Kasi kapag mas maaga silang nakapagsalita, mas maaga silang makakapag-communicate sa atin. Mas maagang maa-avoid yung mga frustrations nila. Like for example, pagkapapanganak pa lang nila, di ba? Iyak sila ng iyak. Hindi natin alam kung ano bang gusto nila. So, kapag naturuan natin sila ng mas maaga magsalita, at least, maa-avoid na natin yung, alam mo yun, nakaka-stress na situation na iyak sila ng iyak, Binigyan na natin lahat, pero hindi natin matukoy kung ano yon. If they know how to speak early, mas may express na nila kung ano yung mga bagay na gusto nila. Mas peaceful lang ating bahay. First thing na talagang effective na ginawa ko talaga para mas maagang magsalita si Mati is I talk to him in full sentences. As in, hindi ko siya binibitok. Kahit na very very sanggol pa siya. The way I talk to him is like this. Oh baby, you woke up. Are you hungry? Are you sleepy pa? Do you want more, dede? Do you want to play? So ayun, as early as baby pa lang sila, kausapan nyo na sila in um, full sentences para ma-pick up nila yung tamang words. And eventually, kapag kaya na nila makapagsalita, yung tamang words na mismo, yung masasabi nila to communicate with us. Number two na ginawa ko na talagang I think very effective is I sing to him. I know, um, parang ano ba itong corny? Pero hindi, talagang super effective kapag kinakantahan sila kasi mas nagiging attentive sila pag pakanta mo, sinasabi yung mga words. Like for example, pagigising siya sa umaga, I sing to him, Good morning, good morning, how are you today? Good morning, good morning, how are you today? So, ganyan. So, nag-e-enjoy siya and sa mga bonding nyo na rin yun and mas talagang napapansin ko, nagpipay attention siya. Ang kunyari, are we taking a bath? It's bath time, it's bath time, it's bath time, it's bath time. Yung ganyan, kahit pa ulit-ulit lang, kahit na anong tune yan, pagpakanta, mas nagpipay attention siya. So, kailangan nyo lang talagang lagyan ng playfulness yung pakikipag-communicate sa mga babies natin. Kasi, yun lang talaga yung way para mak kuha yung attention nila para makinig sila, para makijoin sila sa inyo. So, promise, talagang effective pagkakantahan nyo sila. And yung mga nursery rhymes, paulit-ulitin nyo lang kantahin sa kanila. Old MacDonald, Bingo, The Wipers on the Bus, Go! How about the signals on the bus? Go! Blink, blink, blink. How about, baby, show them the people on the bus? Go! Up and down. The driver on the bus go. Move on back. Move on back. Move on back. How about the babies on the bus go? Wee wee wee. How about mommies on the bus go? How about the daddies on the bus go? I love you all through the. Yeah. Yung mga songs na yan, kapag everyday nilang narinig yan, one word dun sa song na yon matatandaan nila. And then one day, magugulat ka nalang, oh my gosh, alam na niya. And then, 
one day magugulat ka na lang, oh, alam niya na even yung tune nung song. So, talagang it helps talaga na laging yung pinaparinig sa kanila yung mga songs na yun, even yung kumakanta, para mas mabuild yung vocabulary ng inyong mga babies. Number three is, bond with your babies. As in, spend time with them. No distractions, yung nakafocus lang sa kanila. Kasi diba, for example, sa ating mga adults, nung students tayo, diba mas pinapakinggan natin yung mga teachers na magaan na yung loob natin sa kanila, kumpara dun sa mga teachers na parang, ano ba to? Parang ayoko dyan sa teacher na yan. Parang ganun, diba? So, paano ba makakabuild ng good relationship sa ating mga babies? Of course, kapag nagsispend time tayo sa kanila, mas nakikilala natin yung mga babies natin, mas nalalaman natin kung ano ba yung mga likes and dislikes nila. The more na comfortable sila sa atin, the more na mas makikinig sila sa atin sa mga gusto nating ituro sa kanila. By playing with Matty, by being with him every day, talagang na-discover ko na his love language is words of affirmation. So every time we play, every time I teach him something, I have to make sure na I praise him kapag nakagawa siya ng tama. For example, hawak niya tong toy na to and meron siyang truck. And nilagay niya tong toy na to inside of this chalk. I will say, wow, Matty, very good. You put the toy inside the chalk. Inside. That's very good. So, ganon. So, mas ginaganahan siya na makinig, na gawin yung mga tinuturok sa kanya kapag ina-affirm ko siya. So, ayun, kailangan nyo rin talaga munang kilalanin yung mga babies ninyo bago nyo sila maturuan properly para, alam nyo yun, um, magaan or masaya yung magiging um, learning time ninyo with them. Also, another tip is non-verbal communication is very, very important. While you're playing with them, make sure na yung gestures natin, yung eyes natin, focus sa kanila. Uh, I noticed si Mati, kapag grand yung gestures ko, mas na-engage siya. Mas gusto niya akong pakinggan. For example, I have this toy. Wow, Mati, what's this? Nagito yung eyes ko. And yung, yung way of saying ko, talagang di ba exaggerated. But whenever I deliver that, mas nakikinig si Mati. For example, this one. What is this? This is a monkey. And what's the sound of the monkey? Oh, oh, ah, ah. So, ganun. So, I know. <laughs> Sorry, ha. So, I know, medyo, ano ba ito ang OA mo? But, mas nakukuha natin yung attention nila pag ganun, pag exaggerated yung uh, galaw natin. And, sobrang effective kay Mati yun. Mas nag enjoy siya na mag-aral if, if ganun yung way of delivery ko. Kailangan nyo lang talagang bumalik sa pagkabata rin ninyo. As in, very childlike yung approach, uh, yung intonation, yung actions, para ma-engage yung mga babies ninyo. Another effective way para maturuan ang inyong mga babies is basahan nyo sila lagi ng libro. What are we going to do? What? What? Read. Yes, we will read. Very good. So, di ba alam naman natin na ang pagbabasa talaga ng libro is malaki ang natutulong para tumalino, hindi lang ang bata, but also yung mga adults, di ba? Kasi by reading books, May mga nadidiscover tayong mga bagong words, additions sa vocabularies natin. So, ganun rin sa mga babies natin. Iniisip ko that time, nung 3 months pa lang si Mati, bakit ka pa siya binabasahan? Eh, hindi pa naman niya agad to maitindihan. But, you know what? I was surprised na eventually, uh, nagigets rin ni Mati yung story. Kasi, for example, yung mga pictures. Oh, that's a baby. Baby, baby. Ganun na rin sa akin si Mati. So, naiintindihan ni last time goes by. Where's the house? Can you show me where's the house? House. Very good. Mommy, hold daddy up. <laughs> yes. So, it's never too early to start reading books sa kanila. Kasi talagang makakapag-increase to ng vocabulary nila. And choose books na may mga pictures. Kasi mas interested sila sa mga books na may pictures. Aside from books, ang nag-work rin talaga sa amin is flashcards. So, I think very familiar na kayo dito. Ito yung palagi kong pinupost. And ito yung pinakita ko sa inyong una because ito rin talaga yung una kong biniling flashcard for Matty. I started teaching him mga 5 months old pa lang siya. Ito yung una niyang natutunan. Alphabet, alphabet phonics. So, yun. Pakanta. Pakanta ko siya tinuturuan. For example, this one. A is for a, a, apple, a, a, apple, a, 
a apple. A is for a a apple. A a apple. So napansin nyo, repetitive siya. As in, paulit-ulit siya. So siguro three days ko rin paulit-ulit na kinakanta yung letter A. Ha? Letter A pa lang yun. Letter A song na yun. Eventually, nakuha na rin niya. Nung pinakita ko na sa kanya tong flashcard na to, alam niya na, eh, a -a Apple, ganun na siya. So, I was super amazed. Well, siguro anak ko lang siya. Pero, ayun, um, nakakatuwa kasi na-pick up niya. And I think na-pick up niya yun kasi nga pakanta and paulit-ulit. So, suggestion ko rin, guys, kung tuturuan niyo sila ng um, words sa alphabet, yung ano naman, word na magagamit niyo talaga everyday. For example, Um, yung A ko, kaya apple yung pinili kong word kasi I always serve him apple every meal time niya. So, magagamit ko yung tinuro ko, ba diba? Gets nyo ba? So, from the alphabet pa lang, guys, ang dami nyo na agad na matuturo sa kanya mga basic words na pwede niyang gamitin sa pakikipag-communicate sa inyo. Kaya, very, very important na yung pipiliin yung word sa kanila is yung talagang um, pwedeng magamit sa pakikipag-communicate sa inyo. So, ayun, flashcards, super gandang tool for teaching your baby. So, itatago na lang sa baba, sa description box below, kung saan ko binili mga flashcards ko. So, of course, after teaching your baby, kailangan yung tinuro nyo, uh, lagi nyo i-remind sa kanya. Ako, what I do is, I always quiz Mati. As in, um, palagi ko siyang tinatanong tungkol doon. Pagkagising pa lang sa umaga... <laughs> As in, totoo to ha. Pagkagising pa lang sa umaga, uh, mag-good morning ako sa kanya. Good morning, Mati! Ha! A is for... Ganon. As in, umaga pa lang, iku-quiz ko na agad siya. Also, kunyari, naturuan nyo na siya ng mga animals naman. Nakakita kami ng duck sa labas ng house namin. So, sabihin ko agad sa kanya, Oh, Mati, what is that? What's the sound of the duck? Quack, quack, quack! So, ganon agad. So, Every time may opportunity na tanungin nyo siya, kumbaga yung alam nyo yung fill in the blanks game, ayan, laging ganon ang gawin nyo sa kanila para mariremind sila nung tinuro nyo word or lesson sa kanila. Kasi, like what I said, the more na paulit-ulit, the more nilang natatandaan yan, guys. Another thing na ginagawa ko kay Mati is, ninanarate ko yung ginagawa ko. As in, yung ginagawa naming dalawa. For example, pag-iising namin sa umaga, Good morning, Mati! Okay, mommy is going down the bed. Mommy will turn on the lights now. One, two, three! So, ganun. As in, bawat kilos ko, sinasabi ko para mag-gets niya kung ano yung ginagawa ko. Oh, mommy is preparing your food. At pag nilapag ko na yung plato niya, Oh, Mati, look at your plate. What is this? This is an apple. This is rice. So, as in talagang, kumbaga, dinilabelan ko yung mga ginagawa ko or yung mga ah, nakikita niya. Kasi by that, yun nga, mas magiging familiar siya dun sa mga sinasabi ko. Like what I said, Repetition is key, guys. Every time bumababa kami ng hagdan, lagi akong nagbibilang. For example, Okay, Matty, we will go down now, but I have to count. Let's count. One. Then sa next step. Two. And then, fill in the blanks. Okay, what's next? What comes after two? Iintay nyo siyang sumagot. Ganun lang, guys. Every day, ganun yung ginagawa namin. And one day, alam niya na bigla yung buong 1 to 10. Hindi na ako nag-effort mag-flashcard sa kanya. Doon lang sa pagbaba namin sa hagda, natutunan niya na agad yung pagbibilang ng 1 to 10. To be honest, hindi naman natin dapat i-complicate yung pagtuturo sa ating mga babies. Kasi sobrang daming simpleng ways para maturuan sila. Again, just devote your time. Devote your time talaga sa kanila. Play with them. Explain everything to them. Always dapat fun yung learning. Fun yung approach nyo sa kanya. And yun nga, ang sobrang suggestion ko talaga sa kanila, sa inyo pala, I mean, is yung words na ituturo nyo sa kanila is yung may communicative intent. Yun, di ba? Tama. Make sure din naman na responsive kayo sa inyong mga babies. Okay, there are times na hindi rin naman talaga natin maitindihan yung sinasabi na ating mga anak. Especially, like me, one year old pa lang si Mati. Not every time naman, clear yung sinasabi niya. But kahit ganun, mag-respond pa rin tayo sa kanya. Like for example, what are you saying, baby? What do you like? Uh, are you trying to say that you're hungry? So ganun dapat, always encourage them talaga to speak, to talk, And, ayun, eventually, guys, as in, magugulat na lang kayo na 
nakakapagsalita na pala sila, na alam na pala nila to, yung certain word na to. Basta mga moms, habaan nyo lang talaga yung pasensya ninyo. Hindi naman isang iglap agad, malalaman na agad nila yung tinuturo natin sa kanila. It takes time. Like for example ako, pinaka nahirapan si Mati talaga sa colors. Weeks bago niya natutunan yung colors talaga. Sa, sumuko na nga ako at one point na parang, Inisip ko, baka colorblind si Mati, hindi niya mag yung colors. But eventually, natutunan rin niya. So, ayun, be patient lang. Kasi, unang-una, one year old pala yung mga anak natin. Huwag natin sila i-pressure. Darating talaga yung time na malalaman rin naman nila yung mga words na yan. And, ang rule lang naman talaga natin is to encourage them, to talk to them lang talaga, always, para masanay sila sa pagkocommunicate. Alright, now let's move on sa ating Q&A portion. Kasi ba diba, nagtanong ako sa Instagram story ko kung meron ba kayo mga questions tungkol dito. And, ayan, nag-send kayo sa akin. Let's begin with this question. At how many months did you start teaching Mati? Well, yun talagang may ginagamit na akong flashcards and other materials. I think it's mga, yun nga, 5 months to 6 months. Doon ako nag-start talagang mag-decide na turuan siya ng one-on-one, -on -one, yung as in walang distraction, ganyan. Best time for studying. Nung una, nag-research ako about this, to be honest. But, I think iba-iba. Depende sa mga babies natin. Kasi si Mati, I think, best time namin kapag nakatulog siya ng maayos. How to catch their attention and make them focus on what you're teaching them. Kailangan lang talaga, guys, fun yung approach nyo. Um, if bibili kayo ng mga learning tools sa inyong mga babies, and even toys, Bilin nyo yung may ano talaga, yung pwede nyo magamit sa pag-aaral. For example, this one. I bought this online. To answer your question, paano makuha yung attention niya? Ganito ang magiging approach ko sa kanya. Okay, Mati, let's start learning about shapes. Okay, this one. Ooh, this one is familiar. This is a star. Star, 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 star. As in, ganito ah. Ganito ko siya kung parang naman, guys. So, ganun. Pakanta. Like what I said, yun yung effective sa kanya. So, yun guys. Hahanapin nyo lang talaga yung kilite ng babies ninyo. And sa akin, yun nga, pagkanta. So, I think, itry nyo rin yun. Baka mag-work rin sa inyo. How do you motivate Matty in learning? Of course, there are times naman na out of focus siya. And I respect him. Pag ganun, pag ayaw niyang mag-aral, I respect him. I let him play lang. I play with him. And again, playing is also a way of teaching him things, di ba? Um, it doesn't mean na ayaw niya mag-focus sa flashcards. Ibig sabihin, ayaw niya nang mag-aral or ayaw niya nang matuto. Playing is also a great way to teach him things. Kaya, respect him rin. I respect rin your babies kapag ayaw niya. Kasi, di ba, babies pa yan eh. Talaga ang gusto naman niyang gawin talaga is maglaro. So, Take that opportunity, makipaglaro ka sa kanya, yung toys niya gamitin mo as learning tool. Paano ko siya minomotivate? Yun nga, high energy talaga dapat lang lagi. Yung approach ko sa kanya dapat laging OA. Uh, by dancing, by singing, by being silly. Yun talaga, fun, fun, fun lang. Yung hindi niya mararamdaman na nag-aaral kami. How do you teach him to say certain words? So, I think, ang gusto naman talaga nating unang ituro sa kanila is... How to say mommy and daddy, di ba? So, ako, paano ko ba tinuruan si Mati? I taught him by singing again. <laughs> so, gaya nga sabi ko sa inyo, ang una kong tinuro sa kanya is yung alphabet phonics. Okay, who am I? I am mommy. M-ma-ma-mommy. Ganun, guys. Dapat OA yung bunganga nyo. As in talaga, m-ma-ma-mommy. As in, ganun. <laughs> Kasi, Tinitingnan nila yan. And pag, the more na OA yung pagsasalita nyo, the more nilang nagigets kung paano bigkasin. And paulit-ulit nyo lang gawin. Mama, mama, <laughs> Very good. So yun, praise him. Kapag nag-try siya, nasabihin yung ma, nasabi niya yung ma, wow, very good. So be patient lang talaga guys. Paulit-ulit yung sabihin nyo and eventually for sure makukuha rin niya yan. Ah, this one is naman mga message niya sa akin. So amazed on how fast learner Mati is. Thank you, thank you so much. As a mom, talagang nakaka-proud para sa akin na kinocompliment niyo yung anak ko. But to be honest, hindi dahil sa nanay niya ako ha. To be honest, na-amaze din talaga ako sa kanya because sa, ang unang first word niya kasi is dede. And nasabi niya yon when he was 3 months old. As in, nagulat ako na 
Nasabi niya agad yung dede and guess niya agad kung anong ibig sabihin nung dede. Oh, why, why, why? What do you want? What do you want? Dede! 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 So, ayan. So, nakakatuwa na talagang kapag tinuruan ko siya talaga ng mga words, mabilis lang niya ma-pick up. Siguro, somehow, dun siya nag excel ngayon. Yung sa communicative or yung verbal communication niya talaga. Kailan nag-start si Mati na talagang tuloy-tuloy niya nang nagigets yung mga tinuturo mong words. After yung mag-birthday, nung nag na siya, dun talaga nag-start yung mabilis na siyang makapick up ng tinuturo ko sa kanya. As in, <laughs> nung nag one year old siya, mas mabilis ko na siyang natuturuan. Kung baga kung dati, pagtuturuan ko siya ng, ng certain word, aabutin kami ng one to two weeks. But now, pag tinuruan ko siya, days na lang siguro. Actually, minsan one day lang. For example, kanina, tinuruan ko siya, oh, this is our bed. What's this? Bed. Agad niya agad. Magkukuha niya agad. Bed. Ayun nga, again, turuan nyo lang sila ng turuan. Be patient lang, guys. Hello, Mommy Judy. Just wanna ask if what month did Matty learn how to read? Hindi pa siya marunong magbasa, guys. Baka ang ibig niyong sabihin is yung maka-recognize ng pictures sa books. Siguro mga 9 to 10 months. So, yan. Meron kasi akong uh, picture books. Importante rin pala yan, guys. Tung, yung mga books nyo, dapat diba sabi, sabi ko nga kanina, bright colored, tapos malalaki yung pictures para mas ma-recognize rin nila agad. So, yon Siguro ng mga ganong months, Ah, uh, nagigets niya na na this one is sun. Pag tinuro ko yung picture ng sun, sun. Alam niya na yung sun. Babanggitin niya yung sun. So, yun. Importante rin talaga yung mga learning tools niyo is bright colored. Um, yung makakakakatch talaga ng attention nila. Not a question, pero nakakatawa si baby Mati dahil super bilis niya matito. Thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs> Do you follow any teaching method like Montessori? Mm, not really hindi ko restrict yung sarili ko and kami ni Mati sa any teaching method. As in, kung ano lang yung resources na meron ako dito sa bahay, yun yung ginagawa kong tool para turuan siya. How many hours a day do you spend for his study time? Max na siguro yung two hours. Two hours. Kasi, hindi talaga siya, yung focus rin niya, hindi rin sobrang haba. And pakat-cut yun, guys, ha. For example, letter A lang yung naturo ko sa kanya today kasi gusto niya munang maglaruin yung toy niya. And that's okay. As long as napapa, so nasusundot-sundotan ko siya ng pagtuturo, happy na ako doon. May screen time ba siya or totally not? Okay, to answer your question, gusto ko lang bigyan kayo ng background. Nung after ko mga anak, pinramis ko sa sarili ko na ayaw ko talagang bigyan ng screen time si Mati. Ganyan, ganyan. Promise, matitiis ko yan. <laughs> but to be honest, who am I kidding? Screen time can really benefit myself then to keep me sane rin sometimes. Kasi, alam mo yun, sometimes kapag pinapanood natin sila ng TV, dun lang tayo nakakaligo ng maayos, dun lang tayo nakakaihi na hindi nang mamadali. So, screen time is not bad, mga mommies. Okay, ang rule ko talaga is, may screen time, pero dapat sa TV lang. Wala sa iPad, wala sa cellphone. Kasi ayokong maisip ni Mati na sobrang easily accessible lang yung mga ganyan. Yung tipong kapag nasa mall kami, umiyak lang siya, ma-access niya agad yung, yung um, Coco Melon or whatsoever. So, ayun. So, sa bahay lang siya pwedeng mag-nood-nood kasi sa TV. Sa TV lang, ba Also, I make sure na yung mga pinapanood niya is educational. So, there you have it. Yun lang yung mga questions sa akin. And, I hope this video will be very helpful sa inyong mga mommies dyan. And, just like what I said, iba-iba po ang ating mga babies. Don't compare my baby to your baby because iba talaga ang development nila. And, wag na rin natin sila i-pressure. Eventually, matututo at matututo rin yung mga yan. May it be sa pagsasalita, may it be sa paglalakad, and whatsoever. So, there you have it. And, thank you so much for watching this video. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And, see you on my next video. Bye-bye! Look at the camera and say, what's your name? Matty. Matty, how old are you? One. One. Can you say bye, guys? Bye-bye. Say bye-bye. Wow, flying kiss to the camera. Mati, a lot of people are telling us that you're very, very smart. Kanino ka nagmana? Daddy or mommy? Mommy. Yes! Yes!